How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a health question. Joints are regions of the human body where two bones meet and move with one another. And your body has over 360 of them. It's not uncommon to hear or feel a pop, click, snap, or other form of noise within a joint when moving. This noise, which is formerly known as crepitus, might not be painful, but may perhaps cause some concern, or at the very least trigger curiosity. What is this caused by? Is it dangerous? And can you get rid of it? I am going to answer these questions from a scientific perspective. If you have a moment, please support my channel by leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell to stay up to date on new videos. If crepitus is not painful and occurs randomly or infrequently, there's a good chance you are experiencing cavitation within the joint. This occurs when air bubbles accumulate in the joint capsule over time and then are expelled when the joint moves a certain way. Think of it like morsels of bubble wrap making their way into the joint joints and then getting popped via contact from the bones. Cavitation is normal and there's no need to try and prevent or fix this. A Californian physician, Dr. Donald Unger, conducted an experiment where he went one year cracking only one set of his knuckles every day. Follow-up x-rays showed no significant difference in arthritis between his left and his right hand. So whether it's your knuckles, toes, knees, or elbows, let cavitation do its thing. Now what happens if crepitus is not painful but occurs some somewhat or very frequently. In some cases, it might happen every time you move your arm or leg a certain way. This is probably the most common situation I get asked about, and arguably the most complex situation to answer. Why is that? Well, just because the noise is heard and felt at a specific joint, it doesn't necessarily indicate that specific joint is the source of the problem. For example, crepitus at the ankle doesn't always mean the problem is at the ankle joint. It could be at the knee, hip, torso, or somewhere else. Simply put, crepitus is a symptom indicating a problem at the joint or elsewhere that likely requires your attention. Here's how it works. As your joint moves, many muscles and tendons slide over bones, which produces some noise, but typically not enough to be heard or felt. Some of these muscles may cross several joints and may span across multiple bones of the body. If there is scar tissue built up from a previous injury, or you have certain muscles that are undertrained or neglected, they might become weak and and stiffen. This causes an increase in muscle tension, which may shift certain bones out of their optimal working position. All of this will likely initiate more aggressive contact between the bones and tendons during movement, which often translates into a louder pop or snap you might hear or feel. So is this dangerous? Over the short term, I wouldn't freak out about it. Usually after a good warm up, added blood flow to the area is enough to muffle a lot of the noise. But just because you're able to quiet that doesn't mean the problem is completely solved. You should still address muscle weaknesses or imbalance by performing appropriate exercises and mobility drills. I've created many videos on my channel explaining how to go about doing this, which you are free to have a look through. If you choose to ignore the noise, your odds of developing an acute injury and pain increases substantially, which is the perfect segue to the third and final scenario. What if your crepitus is accompanied by pain? At this point, you're likely dealing Dealing with something a little more serious. Painful crepitus is triggered by significant tissue damage or disease within the joint. If the pain develops somewhat gradually and tends to get worse when performing moderate to intense physical activity, this may be indication of early stage osteoarthritis, which is the result of articular cartilage breakdown due to excessive wear and tear on the joint. Parts of your bone become unprotected and rub together, which creates noise and inflammation. A pretty common occurrence in older individuals and those who have played high-level impact sports for many, many years. The most common treatments for osteoarthritis involve medication, physical therapy, and cortisone injections in an attempt to manage pain levels. But if none of these work, surgery will likely be required and the joint may have to be replaced entirely, which is not a fun process to go through. Now, if the onset of pain was somewhat quick and it feels similar whether you are physically active or not, chances are you are dealing with some 
sort of acute tissue damage. This may have been triggered by a sudden increase or change in your activity level, or by some sort of injury from sudden movement or impact during exercise or sport. Maybe one day you decided to try and break the world record for a mile run without warming up. Or perhaps you were playing a sport, fell, and landed on your knee or elbow, but were so focused on the game that you didn't even notice. Whatever the case may be, there are many types of tissues that may have been damaged within or around the joint, including ligaments, cartilage, tendons, or the actual bones themselves. It's not exactly simple to pinpoint the exact problem, but the good news is that in a lot of these situations, your body will heal itself over time. If you're looking to speed up the process, I highly recommend consulting with your doctor or physical therapist so they can assess you and provide an individualized plan for you to get onto the road to recovery. There's no no one-size-fits-all solution for crepitus. Each case is unique and should be treated as such. Hopefully this video helps you make the most informed decision possible moving forward. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching, and stay strong.